I'm Riley Harvey from VCN and this is a look at the new voice feature that's been brought to the RGT app. If you're interested in the RGT app in general then you can have a look at the RGT One app first look that we did a while back and we'll add the link into the description. Uh, but this we're looking just solely at the voice app. <coughs> So RGT have recently added voice into the application, so it removes the need for other secondary applications like Discord or Message Chat. Like a lot of people have used alternative options, um, just because sometimes voice is easier than chat when you've got sweaty fingers, when you're at the limit of your exertion, it's uh, sometimes easier to shout, I'm done, take the lead, than it is to text the same thing. So we've got a new button on the menu screen. So you move the mouse or, or any kind of key and you can see down at the bottom right hand corner, we've now got voice. When you click on that, it activates this new screen, which brings up a whole lot of options. Um, we can see on the channels there, we've got Danoon, Full Road, Custom, Full Road and Race Radio. Danoon is, as you would expect it, it's the Full Road of Danoon. That will change to Borrego or whatever road you're on at the time. Custom is a unit that we can use um, if we're going to have our own particular radio. So if, for instance, we are uh, Team Lou that I ride for and we want to have a private chat within a race, we can turn custom radio on. We have the option to enter a custom channel name in here, which uh, we'll just quickly add in and we can create that so you'll be able to join that team Lou from the custom radio section then you'll just be able to talk to you ourselves there's race radio which I have not played with as yet, but I believe that's for the event organizer to give out general information about the event and perhaps when there's a climb coming up or just to have a chat with you about different features of the event that they're trying to promote. Um, on the right hand side here, we've got the options of open mic, which means that everybody can hear everything that you're saying consistently. Push to talk, which is probably what most people will use. And up in the top right hand corner, just below the gradient map, we can see there we've got a little extra graphic, which is Team Lou, showing that we're in the Team Lou chat. And push the talk. You can see that the push, the P of the push is in square brackets. That's because you can use the P on your keyboard to activate that rather than using the mouse to go and highlight it. We've got volume, quite simple, easy to see bars there for the volume. And we've got noise reduction, which is generally set to on. Um, most of us have a fan or fairly noisy turbo, so it's a good idea to have noise reduction on and it comes on as default usually. We have one other feature that's really worth mentioning on this, which is if we go back to the full road and we can see there we've got 17 riders on the course. So it's just jumped up to 25, 25 riders on the course that are using the voice we may not want to speak to all 25 riders or we may not want to hear all 25 riders. If we click those 25 riders, it'll bring up the list and we can see we've got Zavarais, Morris, Dekov McShane. We can mute individually any one of those riders. And that could be because you're listening to those riders having a chat in their native tongue and you may not want to listen to that. You may not want to uh, partake in somebody else's chat in French or Spanish. Um, or it may be that one of those riders has got it on open mic and you can hear everything that's going on in their room, their music that's play, playing, their kids that are running around and their wife that's arguing with them. Um, you know, you could have any number of reasons for changing that to mute. And that's it. It's a really simple app to use. It's really well integrated into the program and um, it can really see that it's going to bring a lot of joy and a lot of ease to people. It's much simpler than using a third party app. Um, so get on and give it a try. One other thing that I would like to point out while we're just having a look on this, we've got here the ability to switch between riders. 
using those arrows at the top next to the rider names we can flick around we've also got a new reset button that resets you back to your own avatar but if you flick around and you find a rider on the course that you want to be riding with you start at a different time to them we've got reset underneath that we've got this funky looking bike running into a wormhole hit that on your avatar will teleport over to the rider that you wanted to be with and you can ride with them for the rest of that event another neat little feature that's been added in that's it for the radio feature it is simple to use one small comment is we have had some people saying that if they've used another app say they've just been using discord discord may have captured the microphone for your system so you might have to end some of the other apps before activating the radio the voice feature and it's also worth noting that for devices that don't have an inbuilt microphone there is the wahoo remote app that you can download for your mobile phone, your iPad, your other portable devices, which allows you to use the microphone on your portable device to access the voice chat features. So, like I say, if you're looking at a more general look at the platform and looking at the other features, please jump into our other video, which is the RGT One App First Look, which I'll try and link up in the description. And enjoy getting some virtual miles in guys